Windows on unexplored worlds appear before me in white space. Which dot, which pixel was the first germ? Did he need the first impression to be the spur? Or was the idea itself the progenitor? Out of peanut butter and jelly swirls Mona Lisa's oh-so-familiar smile. But is she licking her lips? My taste buds pucker to synapse these flavonoids. She smiles across the room at the Mercator view of a world generated out of the detritus of hardware, dumped in a headlong rush for speedier personal computation. See a mirror image of stars and stripes meld in green flower and broccoli head, then fade and droop in a moment as the split second season falls. This beautiful girl, all pouting lips and glitter tears encased in an amber of cheap china plastic toys, cries out for familial love. For God's sake, just make some human contact. Frankenstein and the Count, etched metal bolt and cowlick, smirk in the incredible, edible, richness of salty black pearls. An installation in identical photo frames captures 28 unique, unidentifiable objects, each one created, one by one, from its own white plasticine ball. From elasticity, the removal of cut diamonds in a frame reveals reproductions of iconic Hollywood pouts, high cheekbones and brows adopt luxury parallelograms. And here the artist directs from the ground a skywriter executing on clear blue canvas a cartoon cloud to be a toy for thermals. This disparate band of the disowned who work the dump, resolve into view out of tin cans, shoes and tyres, as though shaken and swirled by kaleidoscope. Come out into the glare, heat and stink, but care not, for the rooms in those explored worlds were recorded in your mind and can be retrieved at will for your pleasure. Thank you.